Hello friends, how are you? Keeping good? Yes, because your health and happiness is very important. So welcome to my channel, Sony Singh Physics. This video is going to be very, very interactive and interesting. So please like, share and subscribe. Friends, can you hear these audio clips? This one and this one and this one. These are sounds from some musical instrument. But can you tell me from which instrument they are? So you might have understood the topic for today. Today I am going to talk about sound. What is sound? Sound is a form of energy which sensates our ears. Like other energy form as light sensates our eyes, heat sensates our skin. In the same way, sound sensates our ears. Next is how sound is produced. Just watch it. This is a rubber band. I have tied in between my fingers and now I will pluck it. You can hear a sound. The rubber band is vibrating. Because of that, a sound is produced. In the same way, keep your hand over here, near your throat. When you speak, you can feel a vibration over here. Are you feeling it? Yeah. So, you can see, we can say that sound is produced through vibration. In this video, you can closely observe how vibration takes place in a rubber band. The next is how sound reaches from one place to another. For example, the sound produced in our vocal cord, how it is reaches to our ear. The answer is through a medium. Now the medium is air. In the same way, sound can travel through a medium that can be solid, liquid or a gas. Another fact about sound is, sound travels in all directions. For example, suppose I am speaking here, the person who is around me, everyone can hear the sound at the same time in the same way. Next is, how does sound propagates in a medium? To understand this, first we will experience. Pa, pa, pa. When you speak, we our palm experience a force. It means that the air molecule near the mouth get pushed. And the same push they forward to the next molecule. So in this way, sound wave propagate in a medium. This video shows us how sound energy produces a force on air molecules. And because of that force, air molecules vibrate. You can consider these thermocol balls as an air molecules. Now I will speak about the characteristics of the medium for sound to travel. So for that a medium should have elasticity means the medium should be elastic and the medium should have inertia. Elastic means the particle in that medium should have tendency to return back after the displacement. Inertia means the medium particle should have a tendency to store the energy. Now I will speak about mechanism of propagation of sound. This is a speaker and this you can understand undisturbed air means there is no force on the air molecule. They are in their own position. Now what will happen when the sound will produce? As you know sound will travel in all the direction. So the, this, this energy will produce a force on the nearby molecule. So these molecules will be will become closer to each other. They will become closer to each other. So this part where the molecules will be closer that is known as compression. And the next, next area the molecules will be far from each other. This part is known as rarefaction. The same process will continue and the sound energy produced by the speaker will travel through the medium through compression and rarefaction. Now I will draw a sound wave. This is a sound wave. 
This curve is known as sine curve. And this point is known as compression point. The distance between two similar points are known as wavelength. And the symbol for that is lambda. And the maximum displacement from the mean position is known as amplitude. I hope friends you have got some basic idea about sound. In my coming video I will speak about it in detail. Thanks for watching. Thank you.